Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to a rather pleasant evening here in Skyrim. Last time we joined up with Mercer Fry, or should I say Mercer J Fry, to give him his full name. Sorry to people in the comments pointing out I have been getting that wrong. And basically, it turned out he's a baddie, and the woman whose name I've forgotten is actually a goodie. So now I need to go help her out, but first there's a bloody Elder Dragon to deal with, because there's always a bloody Elder Dragon. Right, let's be on our way! Now that brings us back to the college at Winterhold, because yeah, we need to speak to Enthia. But, while we're here, there's a few other bits and pieces I want to do as well. In particular, I want to speak to all the teachers in their function as shops. Here we go, Master Robes of Conjuration, this guy is willing to sell. Yeah, that's more flipping like it. And actually also just generic master robes as well, the gem, Magicka 150% faster. So yeah, honestly there's no reason to go for that over the actual specialised one. So go on then, I will totally take master robes of conjuration, that is actually pretty bloody useful to me. I mean I'm swimming in money right now and also I can sell my old gear to him as well. And I will say, these new master robes I think work, yeah they look much nicer with the hood. Like, it's still not perfect at the back, but it's much better than it was. Yeah, this all fits together very nicely. Oh, you can see Benor checking me out as well. He agrees, damn it. Right, summon up a monstrosity. Oh, yeah, Dramora Lord doesn't even take up half of my magic meter. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty happy with how fast my magic's coming back there. That's lovely. And apparently, Enthe, who we're looking for, is not actually in the college. He's down this way somewhere, possibly kind of close by to the gates, alright? Here we are. In fact, he's actually down in the village of Winterhold itself. Fine, possibly he just stays here after the attack by the magical anomalies. I genuinely can't remember. Right, need to speak to you about translating a mysterious book. Can I help you with anything else? Yes, Carlia, that was her name. She sent me with a book. Also, don't walk in my way. I'm having a conversation here. Carlia. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Apparently yes, but I need you to translate it for me. No problem. Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. And I'm guessing that even you can't translate that then. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Okay, apparently we're going on a flipping road trip all the way over to Markarth next. Alright then, and uh, yeah, any particular reason why he did this? Was he just being too clever or paranoid or something? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ooh, okay. Stealing something precious from the Falmer, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't have thought they had much, but I guess, like, maybe... They're the guardians of something really old and valuable that used to belong to the Dwemer. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Alright, best we just be on our way then. But on the way, something else we need to do too. Something for Benor, in fact. And it's going to start off with a little trip to my old friends, the Orcs, up here in where I killed that person who actually, uh, the comments told me, was like the, um, the sister of the war chief, not one of his wives at all. Basically, I, I got that a bit wrong. Hang on, just um, hide under here, crack this door, and help myself to a little bit of ebony ore right there. But that's fine, just ignore the police and whatever, because we're heading straight over to get ourselves an ebony ingot. And I need that for a very particular reason. In fact, actually, I think I've got everything I need right flipping here. Very convenient. So, smelt together one ebony ingot. Lovely. And yes, people have been telling me, apparently I've significantly overestimated how good the Nordic weapons are. They're not actually that good. So, Benor, time for an upgrade. Benor? Benor? 
Is he not allowed in the Orc camp? I don't know whether he's not allowed in the Orc camp, but Ben Or's wandered off. We'll catch up with him later. But yes, now, as I've got myself a lovely, lovely... That's not the right thing. <laughs> there we are. This is the right thing. So, Ebony Warhammer, get that up to 30 base. Much, much better. Right. So, Ebony Warhammer, straight up to 30. Beautiful. So, Benno, your old Nordic battle axe just indeed 26. So, we've got four base power up already. So, hand that over, Benno. You're not going to be using that anymore. He's now gone straight over to the pickaxe. Let's He's go. so desperate to defend me. But don't worry. Actually, let's just check what was the enchantment on that. Let's, make sure, let's just make sure we're giving him a superior thing here. So, that was burning the target for 26 points of damage. Okay. Over to the enchanter. Now, of course, I want to be using the Black Star while that's fully charged up. Now, let's just get over to fire damage. So, uh, I've got that. Yeah, he's got 219 swings. 26. Or I could get that up a little bit. Uh, honestly, it makes very little difference, does it? At 26, whether I get that up to 29, it's only like 30 less. And I can just keep this thing recharged with the Black Star. So... Uh, Honestly, let's get this up to Ebony Warhammer with 29 extra points of damage as well. So yeah, that's 30 damage plus another 29 in fire. I think we'll gladly take that, yes. I could use a potion to get it a bit better, but I'm going to save my potions related to enchanting for the next time I do a big bunch of enchantments related to... Actually, no, don't worry about it, it's fine. Um, we'll do a big bunch of enchantments related to armor, and I'll change all my stuff and all his stuff at the same time. We'll, we don't need to do that just yet. I'm kind of waiting on one more perk anyway. Good news, Benor. I've got a very, very shiny new toy for you. Now, I have got an ebony sword and an ebony dagger, and you get yourself an ebony warhammer, so we're all equal and everything will be lovely. There you go. Oh, he likes that. He likes that. Hang on. Weapons out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that works. That flipping works. All right, Ben, or let's go be badass. Now, if we're making a journey down to... That's not Markarf. Markarf is way over here. And now I could technically... Actually, am I allowed to turn... Oh, no! No, I'm not. I can't just teleport there, because technically, um, the temple I've teleported to previously was not even a fast travel location. So I have no way of teleporting there. I have been down to this cave before, but I consider that a bit more of a run. I'd like to do a proper journey down to Markov, because there's a few, like, towns on the way we haven't really bothered visiting yet, and a few other bits and pieces I wouldn't mind visiting too. So, good place to start off will be Solitude, because you kind of approach Solitude from the marsh and then kind of uh, via the river or the sea, which is a bit of an odd way of doing it. So if we actually start at Solitude and work our way down the road past all the towns, that might be a fun little journey to make. Oh, hello? Hello? What's going on? I just arrived in Solitude. The drama music's playing, suggesting dragons are a possibility. Uh, but I don't see any dragons. Everyone's running around and panicked. What's the... What's the problem? Oh, oh, something's the problem. Hang on, what's the problem here? The problem is... What are you shooting at? There is... Uh, hang on, there's something. What's going on here? Ah! It's just vampires. Alright, fine. Vampires have souls, presumably. So let's just get over here. Take out you... No. No, that's... Okay. Are you a vampire's thrall? I think you are. Yep. Someone kill him so I get the soul. Lovely, got the soul. Beautiful. Everyone happy? Okay, it was just a bunch of, uh, just a bunch of vampires. Did they kill anyone other than the... Yeah, that was the master vampire. He's dead. He didn't really... Should have shown up with a bit more, unfortunately. And then vampire's thrall, also dead. Yep, not sure they actually killed anyone at all. I think the townsfolk took them out. Very, very nice indeed. Good, good. All right, weapons away. As long as we're going in a vaguely southish or westish direction, we should be doing just fine here. So... Let's just go along here, see what we find. Now, other thing that might be worth doing is, of course, there's a whole bunch of quests floating around this part of the world I haven't just got to yet, so I may as well mark those right now. In particular, let's go over to the map here. So, yeah, Statue to Meridia. <laughs> I have had the flipping... hang on, not that. Yeah, Break of Dawn. I've had that since about part six. So I've been carrying that around for probably months of in-game time. So absolutely we should have that one turned on. But other than that, actually, I think that's actually about it. That's actually all we've got. So I definitely want to visit that little statue while we're passing by. I believe that's, yeah, that's the statue right in front of me there. There's something up on that mountain. And yeah, a nice little, uh, 
Nice little uh, storm cloak camp nearby. Suspiciously close to um, Solitude. I'm amazed the soldiers haven't gone to clear the tower. Ah, there we are. It's like, well, it's not quite a path, but it might... This would be a path, though. Yeah, this is this path-shaped thing that looks like a path. This is a path. Yeah, okay. We've also got... Oh, problems. Right. Not big problems, mind. It's just a spider. They're very, very slow projectors. Excuse me. Just... Ben or stop getting in the way, please. There we are. I think we can handle one spider. And, oh, I got the killing blow. Everyone saw it. I got the animation. That means that was my kill. Yeah, just follow this path up. And presumably this will lead up and around to whatever that little house is up top. What's that symbol? I don't recognize it. It's not like the the Lodge of the Vigilance of Stendar. Because they've got their own little symbol that doesn't look like that. But, okay. Oh, and a cave up here as well. Okay, we'll see if the cave looks interesting. We may or may not visit that cave. I'm more interested in the house, and that's clearly the closer one anyway. Right, here we are, pretty much up onto the flat of the mountain. Whatever this thing is, it's now very close by. Ooh! Okay, this isn't just some little thing. This is... Ah! It's the Thalmor Embassy! <laughs> right, I'm not allowed to come here yet. This is a plot thing, so I probably shouldn't come here. Right, pretend we didn't see that. That's a... That is a guardian... Thing. Oh, hello. Also, you die for literally no well-explained reason. That is a standing circle right over there. Okay. Okay, absolutely. I'm kind of nipping down to deal with that. Uh, ben, or just like catch up when you can. I'm going to go off in this direction. You know, completely ignoring what I was originally going towards. Just because... Can I make it down? Yeah, I can make it down here. Just because... I think I must have found like close by to flipping all of them by now. I must have come very, very close by to... Hello! Who are you? I want to be your friend and do any quest that you've got to give me. Who exactly are you exactly? Hello! What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go Ooh, you shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? No, I'm gonna flip him beat your ass, but okay, you know what? I'll also just try persuading here. Gods, you're boring. Oh, oh dear. Right, excuse me. Um, I've also got demons from hell. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Um, so just, yeah, get her. There we go. Oh, you're quite tough, actually. But luckily you seem to have completely failed to see that I do have a demon from hell helping me. Where's Benor, by the way? You know what? Let's just calm this whole situation down here. And now I've calmed her and had a moment to let Benor catch up. Because I think he's now over. Yeah, now he's over there. Right. Now what we do is we just get behind her and... Okay, I was briefly hidden from her. Let's just get around the back of her there. And... Oh, well, never mind. Oh. Oh, dear. Apparently, I've now just gained a bounty because this time I didn't start it. Oh, that's not fair. Boo. Last witness killed. Ah, good. No bounty at all because there was no witness. This hasn't been the best start to our little adventure. Didn't mean to do any of that, but whatever. Right, there's a lodge over here. And beyond it, somewhere nearby, there's the... Oh, more trouble yet, though. Probably just some wolves, to be honest. Nothing too major here. Just get you up front. Challenger is indeed near. Yeah, probably up. There we go. Oh, no. No, we've got bandits or something here. Hello. Who are you guys? You're just bandits, are you? Oh, bandit chief. And I found the iron back hideout. That seems cool. Right, get around the side of them. And as soon as I've got a good line up there. There we go. Now just crack one of them out. And just... Get him a bit. I'm not sure why I'm bothering to use the bound sword at the moment, to be honest. Actually, I did see that Chillrend was out of charge, so I can fix that immediately. Chillrend needs to be charged. Charge that with the Black Star. Already up to full charge. In which case, actually, let's just get another bound sword. Use it on that guy down on the ground. <laughs> Hello, you shouldn't have picked a fight with me. By which I mean, actually, you kind of didn't. But, oh, you killed him too quickly. I wanted one of their souls for all eternity to power my weapons. Gosh darn it. Oh, this was your um base, was it? A couple of tents just in a crappy little... Oh, that wasn't that good. Is this a good book? Oh, this might be a book. Nope, I've already read that, unfortunately. That's a shame. Yep, just a little bandit lair. Nothing there as far as I can tell. But, yeah, clearly, if I can just make my way up there, I'll get a new little standing circle of whatever. And hopefully, some people guarding it. Because, yeah, I do actually need... Hmm, how to get up there? There's... I've already been up that way. This is clearly not the right way. Hang on, let's see if I can just loop around this way to find, like, a path up to the top there. This doesn't seem right. Right, coming back round this way has just brought me back round to the road. 
And a random goat. Sorry, goat. But I kind of need your soul potentially for something. There we are. That's just a nice petty soul. Right. So this has brought me back down over here. This will be... Ah. I'm very close by to Meridia's beacon right now. So... Okay, as I'm passing by, fine. We'll go and visit Meridia first, given she did, you know, command me to bring her beacon back to her probably over a year ago at this point. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Restore to me my beacon. That I might guide you toward your destiny. And the snow storm ends. And I do admittedly really love this thing. Alright, Benor, don't panic. Something really awesome's about to happen. And it's one of my favourite little moments. And I'm glad that we've got a lovely day for it. Pop the beacon in here. And now I'm going up to have a chat with Meridia up in the sky. <laughs> It is time for my splendor to return to Skyrim. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple, now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with vile corruptions, trapping Lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Absolutely yes, my goddess, but would you mind if I, like, turned around for a bit? Because this is actually quite useful for me plotting out my journey <laughs> going forwards. So there's Solitude. There's the road. And obviously, here's the beacon here. This is the path I followed. So that's the path I was on a second ago, having gone up to the higher path by cutting up there and then around. I've come around this way. But if I could just figure out, well, clearly if I do just keep going on this path, there's a fork left that leads down to, like, a nature-y thing. Or a fort right that hopefully leads up towards the stone circle. But yeah, sure, I will absolutely do it. No problem whatsoever. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Malkarin has forced the door shut. But this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light, guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Okay, I'm now going back down. There's my hand right over there. Beautiful. Ah, okay, so that path leads up to a big... Thing. Yeah, that seems like the right way to approach. Good. So, now I've got to guide her light through the temple. So, she's sending in a big beam of light right here. I'm guessing that means now I can, like, go in somewhere. Is there a door around the side here? I've forgotten where the door to this temple is. Is it down here? There it... Well, hang on. That feels like it's roughly the right place. Is this a door? Hello? Door? Yes, this is a door. Right, Ben or... We're clearing out this temple for this goddess because she gives me a really special, unique weapon, which I know is really good in the early game. I'm not sure whether it levels to you properly, so I'm not sure whether it's going to be any good now, but it still might be a bit useful. Right, and we've also got, yeah, unique enemy stuff here because there's special enemies, but I can't remember what rules they play by. Like, like normal undead, are they weak to fire more than anything else? Because if so, that'd be useful because you have all this weird black smoky stuff. Turns into, like, ghosty enemies. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, just how dangerous are they going to be? And what are they weak to? Because I can't recall. Well, we've got our first big room here. Yeah, beam of light coming in. Need to do something with that to make it go somewhere else or something. I forget. Right, just activate the pedestal. That comes out. Passes on light. Presumably opens the way forward. Just keep doing that over and over. Fine. And conveniently get a large amount of money because there's just corpses everywhere. And every single corpse seems to have like nearly a hundred gold on it, which is very, very good. Ah, 
And we've got our first sign of things. So let's just send forward my new powered-up Dramora Lord. Conjuration up to 88. See how he does there. Now get in there. You are a corrupted shade. You are... You know what? I fought tougher things by the looks of things. My spells seem to be working perfectly nicely against you. Ooh, Penor just knacking him. We've got another one over there with... Nope, not after me. Not after me, thank you. And how's the... Yeah, three of us here working very, very nicely. We'll cut through these lads pretty easy. Nice. Now, just keep on going up and around. Keep on opening up the doors. Lovely, is that an extra... Ooh, that's an extra gem down there. Always welcome. I say always welcome, right? to the point where I'm carrying, like, you know, 50 weight in gems I'm not using. Then, arguably, not so welcome. Except, small problem... This area that I've just opened up doesn't go anywhere because it's all ruined. And I can't do anything to this beacon to change it. Okay. I need to find a, a different way around here. Just jump over. I did not jump. Right, jump over here. Does this get me anywhere? No. It doesn't seem to. Right, hang on. What am I missing here? Well, a whirlwind sprint would get me to the far side. And just go, and yes, indeed. Okay. Except, does that actually do me any good? Can I hop through here? Uh, nope. Even while crouch, I don't fit. Doesn't look like there's anything major over there. Hang on. What am I flipping missing here? Ah, what I'm missing is there's a giant path off the side of this room. Right, yeah, that would make more sense. Right. Send a Dramora Lord ahead to get their attention. Then, if we can... Can I freeze these guys? Yes, you can. You can freeze shades. That's intriguing. Although, I think I just froze my own Dramora Lord. Sorry, you can also freeze uh, monstrosities from hell. Now, no one go for the other guy. Let's just go for them one at a time. I really do like... Oh, sorry, Ben. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I do really like... Oh, no, don't you go for me. Oh, in fact, actually, I don't even care. I'm strong enough to tank it these days. Screw you. Although, actually, coming down here has just brought me to uh, a treasure map. Ah, but with another path off here. Fine, hang on. This looks a bit too obvious. Check for traps. No obvious traps. Fine. Ooh, scaled armor. Not bad. An ultimate healing. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll sell it later if I have the opportunity to. That with an enchantment upon it is worth a lot of money. I smell weakness. Do you smell weakness? Where's the... Oh! We found the weakness! It's right there! Hang on, Ben. Or get in there, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. My new upgraded uh, guy here. He's doing the job. And my sword's doing lovely as well, though. Actually, what if these guys have got souls? Ooh, I don't know, because I do actually need a charge up at some point. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm carrying around a lot of common soul. In fact, that's just a common soul gem that's got lesser in it, which is kind of annoying. That'll do for the time being. That'll keep us going. Right, there's clearly someone else in here. Uh, just loop around to them. Get another guy to cast. Oh, I found you! Right, cast you right there just to get in the way. You get in there, please. Get in there after him. Go on, chase him down. Lovely. And we've got... There we are. I think we'll just freeze him for a second because the animation for him to get up takes up a lot of time. <laughs> I am still, even my Ebony Sword, not quite as powerful as my new Dramora Lord. He's now really, really bloody strong, which I do approve of. Right, round here. Next thing to push. I'm guessing we're just getting them up and then opening that door over there. Yep, lovely. That door up there opens. Beautiful. And we've got... Ah! We've got more things here, though. Hello. We've got ourselves closed thing. Right, okay. Closed thing and... Oh. And extremely suspicious hallway. Yeah, I don't like this one bit. I'm gonna guess if I open this door, then a bunch of spikes gonna start happening. So be prepared the moment it's open to charge forward. Right, open. Go, go, go. Right. No. Ah, no. Hang on. I know exactly what's about to happen. Pull the lever. Things are gonna... Look, I know things are going to happen. I know things are going to happen here. Okay, just run. Okay, why are there no spikes of death? All right, the fact there's no blades of death is unnerving me. Unless they're going to open here, but okay, fine. Where's the trap on this one? There isn't one. Okay, this whole area is really unnerving me because it's not trying to kill me right now. And I don't like that one bit. 
Anyway, nice simple starting off point here. Crack into the next section, whatever that's called. Hang on, another like, ooh, another 50 gold right there as well. What's the next section? We have got the Kilcreef Balcony. That's... wow. It's Skyrim, Ben, or you live here. It's fine. So, where are we going now? We're just following this round here. Ah, we're following it up to the top. This is cool. I mean, I've done this quest before many, many years ago, but I could not remember how it goes. I do remember this bit. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, following the beacon up through the ruins. Another chest here as well. Pile of gold, little circle that I can enchant, one bow that's not even that great, and mage light. I'll take it to sell, but I don't think I'll ever use it. And then we go back into the next set of ruins. Now, remember, if at all possible, to actually, when we run into wherever this guy is, try and... Oh, we got trouble. Try and remember to use the bound sword on him. I'd like his soul to top up the, uh, the black thingy. Right, you are all not going for me. That's fine. You're going down nice. And as are you. Corrupted shades. Actually... Shit, where these things have souls. I've no idea what souls these things have got. So, fine. Get a bound sword. Focus on them. And it's not saying you're resisting it. Okay. You've got some form of soul. Ooh. Problem is I've got no way of checking what sort of soul it was. Ooh, something's shooting me. Guys, can you go and take care of that for me, please? Because there's someone with a bow flipping somewhere. Right, we've got ourselves a bunch of stuff over here. 125. Can I see him up there? Ah, I see him. Question is, can I get a... If I can just get a Dremor Lord up there. There we go. Oh, that casting the... um, Yeah, casting the Dremor Lords and whatever from further away. That is so much more useful than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that was just like, you know, a useless one I had to take to unlock more stuff in future. I just took a plate as well as a ring. Never mind. Now, Iron Door up here requires key. Possibly that's the Skyrim door to get back out again. Not sure. We'll see about that. And another actually requires key door here. Okay, well, when it says key, it might just mean... Okay, that comes up, but doesn't do anything yet. It might just mean... Ah, that might be the... Nope, no, no, that was indeed opened up by doing that. Beautiful. Loot round here. Hello, what are you doing down... Oh, sorry, you were already in here. <laughs> Never mind, there's a new one now. Uh, right, just keep on... Cracking on with your... Ooh, my one handed going up as well. 89. Very nice indeed. Now around here, that gets us a new lever that did something. Not sure what the lever did, but it's probably a good lever. Round here. And then we've got ourselves... That doesn't go anywhere. But if I just head over to here, hit the button, then that goes to up there... Is that door down there? No, that door's still not open. I'm guessing that's opened a door around here, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's probably opened this door right here, in fact. Beautiful. In which case, yeah, I'm guessing that down there is probably the Skyrim door. But first, more flipping Imperials that have got gold on them. Very nice. And Battle of the Red Mountain here. Nope, sadly, I have already read that one. More Corrupted Shades going down to the three of us. Nice and easy. I'll have your soul off you. Thank you. Clearly there's someone with probably a bow up there. Yes, indeed. But I think Dramora Lord can tank that for days. So no problem there at all. Nothing around here. Right, follow my lads up. At this point, I like the fact that Skyrim has partly become kind of, you know, more of a strategy and management game. It's a looting simulator. My lads can very easily handle all of the actual killing themselves. I can go in and help if I want to, you know, when it's fun or whatever. But for the most part, my lads can take care of this. It's great. Right, now I've managed to make it up top. And ah, this will be now up to here, down to there. That opens the... Okay, something just electrocuted me. Oh, is it this thing? Oh, sorry, that thing hurts. I missed that. And that brings me down to the catacombs. And just more pedestals for the time being. Cracking open a few more bits and pieces. Progressing. Yeah, loads of chests and money floating around here. You can get very, very rich indeed just going through this area. Just crack on. Deeper and flipping deeper. This seems to be a fairly simple linear dungeon. Ah! Okay. Got to destroy someone. Well, in that case, let's just send you in first. And if I can do, everyone together. Yes. There we go. That's what we wanted. Now, finish them off one by one. Because those guys are going to be down on the ground for quite some time. So let's finish them off one by one, please. There we go. He's trying to ice spike. 
or use other icy stuff. Right, you guys, go forward. I'm being hit by... S oh! Ouch! Okay, he had some pretty powerful magic on him. However, I believe I did actually have a good basic tactic there. If I could just actually get him with the ice thing as well, the ice form, and get him down, then we just take him out one by one. I think that actually works. Right, cast in you. Right up, no. Right in there, please. There we go, right. Cast him in there. Benor, you get in there in a second. Now I need to everyone, including him. Now have we got him? Yep, yeah, this time we've got him as well. Though I need I need you up as well, please. There we are. Right, so now all of us take out this guy together. Right, all of him go down. This is a really nice way to do this. Now, this one. This guy's up next. Everyone go for this guy, right? This guy goes down. Lovely. He's going to go down super fast. All right, next up, I want this guy down. Everyone go for this guy. Because now he's going to go down in a real hurry. <laughs> oh, Ice Form is the best shout. Alright. And it lasts for 8. I think like fully charged. It lasts for like 60 seconds. So now we can take this guy out. Right. He's dead. Now there's nothing left but this guy. Beautiful. Right. Bound Sword now. Let's just get him up. Because he's nearly gone. I need him. No. I want you to... There we go. I'll have your soul as well. Thank you. In honour of Meridia, my queen, I've also decided to, like, get a new... Oh, where did you come from? Okay. Were you... Were you always there? Okay, never mind. Just take care of you. It is done. The Defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. Nice. Oh, actually, you're a Stormcloak, aren't you? Ah, there might have been a battle going on here. Fine. There was a war for this area. The Stormcloaks and the Imperials were fighting over it, though it appears like the Imperials were possibly the ones who had this place uh, under strength first, because there's definitely a lot more of them. Or maybe the Imperials came and took it off the Stormcloaks, given this is very close by to Solitude. So, uh, yeah, they got a bit kind of caught up in their war and whatever. And as a result, everyone ended up a little bit on the dead side. But that's fine, because you were apparently all paid just before the battle, so now I get all the money. Now, you, my good man, what's your thing? Ooh, Fortify Carryweight Potion Recipe! And some, ooh, human flesh. Oh, well, that's not so nice. I'll take the staff, though. That's worth quite a lot. So, freezing whirlwind, 40 points of frost damage per second. That's all right. I'll probably just sell that rather than actually use it. I think I've got enough power in my one-handed. Now, how powerful is this Dawnbreaker thing? Put that away. Pull the sword out. Dawnbreaker's been added, and I think I'm going to have a chat with Meridia straight away, in fact. Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. And you know what? Maybe don't talk back to the goddess who's literally suspending me hundreds of meters above the ground. Maybe just say, I'll wield Mighty Blade in your name, and also I really like you. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. And down we go back, and yes indeed... Looks like we're heading back to the ground. I like this. It's a good quest. Now, is this sword actually any flipping good at this point in the game? Or is it a bit late for it to actually be good for anything? Because, yeah, bear in mind, my ebony sword right now is flipping 76 plus another... Yeah, plus another 30 points of burn damage. So, Dawnbreaker is... 58, another 10 points of burn damage. And also causes a fire explosion that turns or destroys nearby undead. If there's a big group of them... Maybe, but honestly, probably not. Although, by the way, uh, don't worry, um, your majesty or queen or whatever. I'm going to use the soul of your enemy to power my sword again now. Ah, and also conveniently, as I totally missed, apparently there's just a flipping uh, word of power right by here. Okay, what's the word then? <laughs> I could have got that before we actually began that, but uh, okay. So, uh, air, elemental fury. Ooh, which one's that? Hang on. The Thurm imbues your arms with the speed of winter line for faster weapon strikes. Ooh. Yeah, and only 18 seconds on the recharge. Yeah, gladly, as I've got six dragon souls. That seems pretty damn good. Hang on, let's just actually uh, try that out very quickly. 
So my normal swinging is like this. Okay, about that sort of speed. Fine. And my current weapon is already... Ah! Right. So I literally can't use it if the weapon's already got an enchantment. It's only for unenchanted weapons. Oh. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. So it's like a temporary enchantment you put on your weapons. Okay. That's not quite what I was expecting. Fine, that's nowhere near as good as I was hoping for, to be honest. Now, if I saw from above correctly, if I follow this path here, and by the way, there's just a cave right here as well. If I follow this path here, there should be, as that's there, a great big, yes, a great big crossroad. There's also a cave there. Don't worry about the cave, because I'd like to ignore all the lovely bunny rabbits or whatever. We've got ourselves, yeah, white run, Markov. Apparently Markov's that way. I would have thought it was this way, but all right, fine. Uh, but hang on, wasn't there a... Shouldn't there be a branch up this way? Hang on, it feels like there should be a branch up this way, potentially. Because this was... I could have sworn I saw a branch going off to the right, but maybe that was a different crossroads. Fine, hang on. We need to loop up round here in order to... Yeah, if I can climb up here, get towards this tower, this might be the correct way to get over to the... Yeah, there's the... There's the place I saw previously. And finally, there's a ruined tower over here. And then the... Ah! This looks more like it. This looks more like it. I think I've actually found the way in here. Yes. Yeah, this is where the circle of stones are. Right now, I'm using the... What is it? I'm using the... Apprentice? The one that gives you the bigger magic pool, but the slightly slower magic regen. But honestly, that doesn't really matter to me at this point. So, let's see what we've got here. We have got ourselves the Steed Stone. So, um, you carry more and do not suffer a movement penalty for armor. Oh, no, no, that's, that's probably one of the worst ones I've found, to be honest. So, not interested in that. There's apparently a broken down tower over there somewhere. Yeah, there's a proper tower over here. Wait, hang on, I think this is one I've already had on my map for flipping ages, like it's important. Uh, yeah, Fort Hragstad. This was actually way back on the, the map that... White Run hat, suggesting it's actually a place of some form of tactical. No, nope, don't worry, that's Ben or it's fine. Yeah, this is some form of place of like importance, but in which case, important to whom? Who actually owns this place? Because it looks a little bit run down. Okay, let's just go and investigate. Is it actually held by one side in the Civil War? Because logically, if it was marked on, like, a Keeps map, it would be. Hello over there. Who lives... Oh! No! Feels to me like this instead just belongs to some flipping bandits. So, that's... F Ouch! Don't go for flipping me. I'm the important one. Right, round the side here, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of bandits. But I think you guys are handling this very nicely. Plunderer... Oh, did you... Just clear out. Oh, you just cleared out my flipping Dramora Lord. That's impressive. And there's someone else over there who's taking pot shots at me as well. Fine. Get around the back of you. And I just went for a power attack, which I didn't even want to do, but that's fine. Plunder up, plunder up, dead. Right, okay. Now we've got this under control. Yeah, there's an archer over there. Someone finish off that guy, please. Actually, you know what? Screw it. There we go. You can just stay out of the I love ice form so much. Another one over there. Fine, it's just a huge bunch of... Actually, you're a highwayman. You used to be scary, but not so much anymore. Finish you guys off as well. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no one killed that guy. I need their immortal soul. When all this is done, I really hope they, like, start calling me, like, you know, John the Soul Eater or something. Because basically, this is what it's come to. I am now regularly stealing the souls of my enemies in order to actually power my weapons, which is... Uh, arguably evil. Just, just, you know, slightly. Not, like, hugely evil, but unquestionably, it is a bit evil. Ouch! And there's a guy up there as well, by the way. Guys, do you want to do something about that? Um, okay, fine. Let's just sprint across here. And, oh, Benor's made it up here, but go for the flipping archer, Benor. Benor, there's, there's someone literally shooting at us. Can we deal with that first, please? Right, get up close and personal to him. Right, just make sure you miss. And make sure you miss again. Ouch, didn't miss that time. If he hits again, I'm in trouble. Nope, that time it was fine. Right, high woman up top. Just take out you. And no black soul gems, unfortunately. Right. Nice view from up here, though. This is a nice little fort to have. There's, ooh. Hello. Why is that big old island out there? Hang on. 
I'm looking... Ooh. Okay. Can't help but notice. Massive grey island with what appears to be a massive castle on it. Way out in that direction. Okay. This is of interest all of a sudden. But hang on, let's clear out this place first. And uh, on the way, I should probably, like, you know, sort out my injuries because I'm a little bit on the injured side. There we are. Close wounds. I like close wounds. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. And also, heal. Actually, I think we can just beat this guy one on one. Screw you. <laughs> right. Now, up to the top, clear out the last of the actual uh, guys who live and work here. Yeah, at this point, I can actually, uh, against, like, even fairly high-level bandits, just out-heal their damage, which is pretty damn badass. Right, let's just quickly check if there's anything special going on here, because if this place was marked on a map in a keep, there must be something here beyond the usual. Right, down into the bottom of the prison. Nothing major here. A couple of chests and books and whatever, but... In all fairness, no. Nothing of particular notes. So, anyone actually living in the prison? No. There isn't anyone down here. They're going to be spawned in by a quest later. For the moment, everything's fine. Right, into Fort Hragstad itself. No, not me. Don't go for me, you bastard. Go for the flipping giant demon. Ah, we found the chief already. Fine. If you guys need a bit of help, I'm just going to get him down on the ground for you. That'll mean we've got some nice... Hit easy shots at him while he's getting up and now just stagger him again with a power attack beautiful 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 okay very small little place i'm honestly not sure why this place was marked as a place of interest on like the map of a keep but maybe once upon a time in the previous era it used to be tactically important in which case, while it's technically not quite, you know, the right direction or where we're supposed to be going or whatever I'm suddenly a little bit more interested in actually heading further due north, heading straight down, because uh, from this tower up here, I saw some interesting bits and pieces, including in particular, yeah, a ship, and beyond it, what appears to be a massive castle out at, this is just a straight drop down, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't potentially a good way to, um, to get down to that there ship, oh, it's a shipwreck. Okay, um, possibly I could get down, I think I could get down by going down here, if I went down this sort of a way, um, Benor, where's, where's Benor? Okay, I'm sure he'll catch up, I'm sure he'll be fine. Right, down we go, just New Vegasing our way down these cliffs here, this isn't actually that steep, so I'm actually just gonna sprint. <laughs> Good, screw it, why not? Right, yeah, this is a fine, easy way for me to get down, ouch, slightly damaged myself, it's fine. And then, yeah, if I just kind of want to get onto the bottom, I might just wait for an hour to give Ben an opportunity to catch up. Because normally, he'll catch up to you. Ah, oh, we've just got some some hawkers dotted around here. That's Oh, no, that, that's not a hawker. That's not a hawker. That's a something. That's a snowy saber cap. How good are we? Oh, you know what? Maybe they're not so bad. I think we can handle that. Right. Uh, ben, or do you want to catch up now? Wait an hour. And... And, right, okay, Benno will catch us up later, Benno will be fine catching us up later, I'm just going to go and explore that shipwreck, I've got Dramora Lord with me, though actually, um, I have realised, unfortunately, that's been very impersonal of me, of course, Dramora Lord does actually have, you know, like, a name, and actually, I've also been making some false assumptions, uh, just from the arm and the face or whatever, um, it's actually a she, her name's actually, a uh, Dray Moira, um, so Moira from now on, so we'll be summoning Moira whenever we need to, which is marvellous. Uh, so, let's just check everything's fine here. Everything seems to be fine. And we've got ourselves, yeah, a shipwreck over here. Ah, but, camp. Potentially, someone got here first, and they might have decided they own the place. Yeah, I think they've decided they own the place. So why don't you just go and take care of that? Conjuration's up to, ooh. Conjuration just hit 90. Which is very, very, ooh, blimey. I found orphans, ooh. Also, something else bad just happened. Hello! Who just attacked me? Because whoever it was is actually quite... I mean, there might be a wizard in that ship, because I swear I just saw the crackle of electricity. Someone's got themselves. Uh, Bandit Marauder. Ah, yes. Bandit Marauder with a bit of electro magic going on. Make sure we just get you down and out of the way. Lovely. Got ourselves a crashed ship here. Now, you guys are living in this place. That's fine, but... There might be some more interesting stuff going on here too. 
And I've also got a spell I very, very rarely use for anything, which is, hang on, I need to actually hop out to use it. Water breathing. I actually taught myself the water breathing spell. So I can have a little look-see what's going on under here without any risk of, like, uh, drowning or whatever. I found the water breathing book just at random, so... Up here, this is the... Why did you just take a big gasp? You're literally... We've just established you can breathe underwater. Let's just get down here to the... To the bottom. Ah, we do indeed have a chest. And there's a bit of a flow pulling me back the other way. There's also just a skeleton here. That's fine, if a bit sad. Uh, one potion of magicka on... No fairness, barely worth taking, but whatever. Yeah, Nothing much here, but it's always nice to just grab that chest at the bottom. No, we haven't missed anything in this here shipwreck. Now that over there, whatever the hell that is, I'm very, very, very interested in. But there's something much more important I do need to do first, which is my conjuration has just hit 90. And that means there's something very, very important I can do elsewhere in the world. That's just a basic ice wall. Fine, I thought you looked special for some reason. Just quickly also hack into this chest. Nothing major, but yeah, rest assured, I need to do one thing elsewhere, then we're coming back here to figure out what the hell is going on in that massive great sea citadel, because the sea citadel seems badass, but instead, back to the college. So with Conjuration 90, I now need to go and find the nice chappy, who is the Conjuration trainer, what's his name, Finnis, ah, is that you right here? No, you're Arnie O'Gain, that's completely useless to me. Ah, here we are, found him in the library. And now that I'm up to Conjuration 90, new option. Is there anything else to be learned about Conjuration magic, my good man? How quickly you've advanced. Most impressive. There are spells yet to be learned. Powerful spells that can more closely and more permanently bind creatures to your will. But there are risks. There are always risks. You must summon and command an unbound remora. Okay, I guess I'll just do that then. I will teach you the spell to summon the Dremora, but know that it will only work in a place properly prepared for the event. Once you have summoned the Dremora, you will order it to deliver to you a sigil stone from an oblivion gate. Once I have a sigil stone, I shall inscribe the spells that you seek. Okay, this is totally, totally a thing we're doing. Though admittedly, if you just need the sigil stone, why haven't you already done it? Because I have no wish to be harmed. Summoning an unbound remora is not like other conjuration spells. It will not simply do your bidding. You must first prove you are in control. Here is the spell you need. Go to the top of the Hall of Attainment. I have prepared a place for you there. Oh yes, Conjuration Ritual spell. So, up to the top of the Halls of Attainment, he said. Let's just nip over there. Alright, Benor, me and you. This is going to be a little bit on the tricky side, by the way. I'm not sure I'm allowed to actually use my own Dramora, by the way. Hopefully I am. Hopefully I'm also going to go over to Chillrend. I'm not sure whether it will resist paralysis. There's a good chance it will. But just in case, this is a good weapon to work. You've got your powerful stuff. I've got chill render. I can also summon another demon to help us out. Hopefully, we can do this. So, summon unbound Dramora. So powerful, it actually takes both hands to do. Let's give this a go. Charge it up if I can. Yep, yeah, there we go. And apparently this is really quite strong. And, hello over there. Okay, and I summoned you, and I control you now, alright? You control nothing, mortal. Right, now. Now, now, now. Oh, he's actually got a weapon. Right. Okay. First things first, I want to buy myself some time while I just get set up here. So, good starting point would probably be ice form. That will presumably work on him, as that seems to work on just about everything. Just a basic ice form to start off with. After that, get my own guy in play, Country Dramora Lord, and also my Ebony Sword. So, there we go. So, he goes down. Get my own Dramora Lord up. Fine, so I've got my own Dramora Lord up. Right, now everyone, start wailing on this guy. Alright, everyone all together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think we got him. Marvellous. <laughs> Basically, it was just a slightly tougher variant of Moira. 
So we've defeated them. Now we just head back over here. Now what do you need to do next? Because we've technically... We're not supposed to kill them. We might not have been supposed to kill them. I need to summon it and bend it to my will. I feel like I did that. Well, I knifed it. That may not have been the same thing. Possibly I was supposed to like get it down but not kill it. Right, let's try again. Right, summoning, summoning, summoning. Ready to go? Yep, think we're ready to go. Boom. Right, are you willing to obey me now? Because I kicked your ass already. I am not your plaything. Look, admit I control you. I literally already did that to you, but all right, fine. Straight back down again. Lovely. Everyone just wail him. You know what? I don't even need to. I'm just going to... Ah, he's got more powerful weapons this time. I see he's got a flipping warhammer. There we go. Now, more so, I believe, if I recall correctly, uh, because he is a Daedra, expelled Daedra does actually work pretty well against him. So, boom. He's too powerful for that. Does it damage him? Yeah, it damages him. Definitely. Boom. So, he's definitely taking some damage from that, and it's staggering him a bit. So everyone just wail on him for a bit. Lovely. There we go. Benno, you're fine, right? Yeah, you know what? I think... Oh, Benno's just done the slightly suspicious looking head rattly thing. Right. So we've killed him twice. How many more times? I am not yours to toy with. I can do this all day. No. No. I submit. No more. What is your... All right, bring me a sigil stone and we'll call it even. Yes, my mistress. Summon me again and I shall have your stone. All right, very nice. So, next up, just charge up the summon armbound Dramora thing again. Ready to go. Beautiful. Give me the damn stone. You better have it or I will just flipping. Also, you've changed your weapons again. Your sigil stone, Lord Dagon, is less than pleased at its loss. Well, that's your problem, not mine, to be perfectly honest. And return the sigil stone to this chapping. Mine? Oh, no. The stone is yours. I simply need to borrow it for a moment. Now, let's see what there is to see. Give him a couple of minutes to look at the stone, and what have you seen? I have the knowledge I need. And so you may have your stone back. And also, please, take this. You have done well. And I have gained the spell tome for Flame Thrall. Marvellous. And then if I just go into his books, he should have a whole bunch of very special new stuff for me. Spell Tome, Dead Thrall, reanimate a dead body permanently to fight for you. So basically a corpse becomes like a companion. And if that uh, body like collapses or runs out of health, it doesn't just disintegrate to dust like a normal body does when you reanimate it. It simply goes down the ground and then you can simply use Dead Thrall on it again. So basically you can keep a companion with you forever if you want to. Like any person at random you find that you can kill, you can just have them as a permanent companion, which is very, very cool. And I can also summon a Frost action at permanently with Frost Thrall. Very good. And Storm Thrall, a permanent Storm Atronach. Though sadly, there's no way to actually make Moira permanent. As far as I am aware, you can't actually have a Dramora Thrall. That's just not a thing in the game. Still, I'll gladly learn all of these. Lovely. Bear in mind, of course, these things are a little bit on the expensive side. So yeah, Storm Thrall cost 581. So I think I actually couldn't actually cast that one, even if I wanted to right now. I don't think I've actually got enough magic to do that. Frost Thrall, same thing, actually. I literally couldn't uh, cast that even if I wanted to. I think, actually, if I was to boost my magic slightly, I might just be able to. And Flame Thrall is... Flame Thrall, I think I could just do. <laughs> I can just do that one. And Dead Thrall, actually, I think I can definitely do that one. So, yeah, 435. Dead Thrall is 484. Hang on, how much do I even have right now? Because I've got... I've got 449. Okay, so I'm actually pretty darn close. But yeah, if I wanted to do that, I would actually need to actually yeah, get my magic up a bit more or otherwise kind of put in a bit of equipment that gives me even more magic because I'm actually short at the moment, <laughs> which is hilarious. But they are really, really damn good spells. And it is no attack whatsoever on Moira, but I would like to show off. Let's just summon ourselves a flame thrall here. <laughs> this is literally the entirety of my magic to do this. Boom. 
I now get myself a flamethrower permanent, indeed a potent flamethrower as you can see there. So yeah, I think it does get a bit of a power increase. Don't know exactly how much, but uh, yeah. I've now got myself a permanent flamethrower that will follow me around, same as any companion will. Don't need to worry about recasting that at any point. And I don't actually know what happens if a flamethrower dies. You know what? I think we'll learn that together and we'll do that next time. This is going to be quite a long part when all said and done. But I've now learned the most powerful conjuration magic in the land. And I have got myself a lovely flamey booby companion to follow me around as well. So you know what? If you want a companion that keeps you warm at night, she is most definitely a good candidate for job. Oh, Ben was jealous. Ben was jealous already, I can tell. Right, you know what? Next time, I know exactly what we're doing. We're going over to that bloody sea fortress, because I want to know what the bloody hell that is, because that's just really, really damn badass. We'll start there and work from there as our journey towards Mark Arthur, our slightly meandering journey, admittedly, continues. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.